Rolling down, rolling down, rolling down. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate that you guys make the Lockout Man Podcast Show one of your top podcasts to listen to. Make sure y'all check it out on all the podcast platforms as well as here on YouTube. That's what's going on. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So I was in the live feed. I was, you know, doing my live feed rant and everything about uh, Jada Pickett Smith, Will Smith, uh, the Match Trust show. Uh, if you guys caught it, good. If you didn't, I probably might be taking it down. But a real good question came through the chat session, and I wanted to break it down and give you my thoughts on, uh, on it. All right, so it's coming from my guy, Kevin Dolte. Dottie, Dottie, Kevin Dottie. He says, is it a big deal to have an automatic restriction on your license today? Well, Kevin, look, man, uh, you know, I, I'm not the one with all the answers and I'm not the one that says that I do have all the answers, but I do appreciate the question and I will try my best to answer it. So here we go. So listen, is it a big deal? No, it's it's not. I mean, I, I say maybe around 98 to 97 to 95 percent of the new jets that's out here driving today, they, you know, they have automatic restrictions on their license, especially if they went to a uh uh school sponsored trucking company like Prime Smith. Uh, Snyder, again, I'm not sure Snyder trains you in a, in a manual, but definitely Swift, Prime, Rail, I think. I think they, they train in an in a automatic as well. So if you go through, through uh, a school that's sponsored by the trucking companies, then yes, you're nine times out of 10, you're going to, you're going to test out in an automatic and yes, it will be a, a restriction on your license. Now, here's what I suggest, and this is what I did. Uh, when I came into the game, I I took my time. I looked over. I took some, you know, I, I looked at some options. And the option that I took, I went to Tri-C Trucking Academy, which is now Tri C Technical College here in Cleveland or in Euclid, Ohio. Um, they have manuals and automatics. I took I I made sure that I tested out in the manual. I made sure that I learned in the manual. Because with a lot of these mega carriers and a lot of these medium-sized trucking companies, even though they do have automatics in their fleets. They they do have like manuals in their fleets as well. And sometimes these uh these trucking companies that you probably had to rent a truck, like I did about a couple of years ago. My truck broke down when I was in Houston and I had to go over to Penske and rent a truck. And they didn't have no automatics, they had a manual. So lucky for me. Being that I didn't, my license wasn't restricted, I was able to drive the manual, get my load done, take the truck back, and then wait for my truck to get fixed. So there's going to be times that if your truck break down and you had to end up going to rent a truck from Penske or from anywhere else that rents semi-trucks, a lot of those rental companies don't have automatics a lot of them have manuals so if your license is restricted you won't be able to drive it and it will probably be a little bit harder on you because you will have to wait for eternity like for me my truck was unavailable for a week at least good times down in texas though <laughs> You know, they got me in the uh they got me in the Hilton suite. So yeah, I, I had a good time down there, but you know, I was able to still get my load done, uh, you know, with the rental truck. And um, and yeah, that's that's what it is for me. So 
if you're able to go to a school and able to afford it, i.e. you can use your credit card, save, grants, loans, or anything of that matter, uh, yeah, go that route and train out in a manual and test out in a manual and your license will not be restricted. But again, to answer your question, is it a big deal? No, because like I said before, uh, majority of the people that's out here on the road that's coming into trucking, majority of them, their, their license is restricted. Now, here's a flip side to that. If your license are restricted and you still want to test out in the manual, then what you might want to do is call the schools, uh, the, call the schools, the, the uh, technical uh, academies or trucking schools in your neighborhood or in your area and see if you can go to them and learn a manual and see how much it costs. Now, sometimes it probably might be a, a little bit inexpensive, but you already got your CDL, so you don't need to go through the whole rigmarole of, of you know, uh, pre-trip, post-trip, all that other stuff. You already got your CDL. You just want to, you just want to convert your license over so that the restriction will be lifted. So what you want to do is, you know, call around, see who will train you in the manual, and you should be able to do it that way. All right. You should be. You should be. Like I said, I don't I, I don't have all the answers. You know, I I try to get the answers for you, but I don't have all the answers. Though. But I do appreciate the comment. I do appreciate you reaching out to me. I do appreciate you, you know, being in the live feed. So thank you very much for that. I appreciate you listening. And if you're a supporter, subscriber. Thank you very, very much for that, bro. I really do appreciate it. I hope I hope this video answers your questions and I hope this video give you some type of value. If this video give you guys uh, value as well, uh, thank you very much. Make sure you guys, you know, like and support the channel. You know the best conversation starts here on the Lockout Man podcast show. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Make sure that you guys... Check me out on the daily. And until next time, y'all stay safe out there and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.